This video is going to show you how to fill the refillable cartridges for the Epson 1400 from City Ink Express. They come complete with auto reset chips, which basically means the ink cartridges will be monitored as normal. When it tells you it's empty, you just need to unclip them and clip them back in. So they do have to be unclipped as a set, even if you just take one out to fill it, just unclip the other ones. You don't need to remove it, but basically when, they, when you've filled one and it's ready to go back, just clip them all in as a set uh, and they will reset themselves. So on top of the cartridge there are two plugs. There's a colour plug and a clear plug. So we're going to remove, for filling purposes, we're going to remove them both initially. So with the ink and the syringe provided, we're going to fill this cartridge till it's about 85% full. So there is a bit of a stigma attached to refilling cartridges. People think they're messy, they have to drill and all sorts of other things, but as you'll see from this video, they're very easy to use, they're not messy at all. So we're going to fill in the hole left by removing the second, the inner plug, the clear plug. And we're going to slowly inject the ink until the cartridge is about 85% full. So it will hold around 14 ml of ink. But basically you should only be looked to fill it until it's about 85% full. So this one's finished. So before you actually start to use them in your printer, I would just let them settle down for about 10 minutes. They can, you can leave them settle down on the side or in the printer just to let any small air bubbles dissipate. So the plugs for putting back in when you're finished, so the clear plug goes in, well the coloured plug goes in, but the clear plug goes out, stays out. So the clear plug is an air breather hole. If you put something in that hole, no ink will come out of the cartridge at all. So as you can see, it's very easy to use, very easy to fill, no mess at all. And in true TV style, we have a set that we prepared earlier. So all I need to do to these before I put them in the printer is to remove the clear plugs and they're ready to use. So as you can see, no mess at all. So these are the Epson compatible 1400. Uh, complete with auto reset chips from City Inc Express. Thank you.